Hello everyone. Many people ask me about my position, my bracket positioning, especially positioning the tube on the sixes uh, when we have a, cl a class one molar relationship or when we are going to end in a therapeutic class two or therapeutic class three. So as we know, uh, in according to Andrews, uh, class one molar occlusion is defined uh, as a situation when the mesobuccal cusp of upper six occlude with the mesobuccal group of, of lower six, as well as having the distobuccal uh, cusp of upper six occluding on the uh, embrasure between the lower six and lower seven. And in order to achieve a class one molar relationship, um, we have to place the molar tubes in a way that we can see more of the buccal, uh, more of the distobuccal cusp than the mesobuccal cusp. If we just place it parallel to the occlusal plane, then what will happen? When you put the wire, um, in, and this is the correct position, uh, you will get an Andrew class one, the mesobuccal cusp occlude in the mesobuccal groove of lower six, and also you will get the distobuccal cusp of upper six occluding in the embrasure, and you will get the very nice. Um, Andrews class one molar relationship. However, when you place the bracket in a way that has a parallel to the occlusal line, this will result in a gap at uh, between the distobuccal cusp of upper six and the embrasure between lower six and lower seven. Yes, you are going to achieve a class one, but it is a class one angle uh, molar relationship. You are not going to get a class one uh, Andrew relationship uh, if you are not placing the molar tube in the way that I explained before. Secondly, what, was, what is my bracket positioning if I am going to end in a therapeutic class 2, i.e. when I extracted two premolars in the upper arch? Well, it's slightly different. Uh, if you place the brackets in the same, uh, if they place the molar tube in the same way as in a class 1, uh, i.e. you see more of uh, the distobuccal cusp uh, than the mesobuccal cusp, then what will happen when you align the teeth? you will get some embrasure, some gaps between the mesobuccal cusp of upper six and the embrasure between lower five and lower six. And as you can see, you see a lot of fire or a lot of dead space uh, between the upper and lower cusp. And this expressed in the <coughs> blue color behind uh, the illustration. Well, if you place it in a way where the molar tube is actually parallel to the occlusal plane, then when you align the molars, you will get a very nice um, uh, intercuspation. There is less uh, interference at the, uh, between the palatal cusp of upper six and the, cent and the uh, fourth C and the lower arch. And also you'll get very nice uh, intercuspation of the mesobuccal cusp of upper six and the embrasure between lower five and lower six. And you can see that you really see uh, the fire, which is just to illustrate the gap between the upper and lower uh, buccal teeth. And also you, can, you barely see any blue area, um, which in, indicate that there is a good uh, buccal intercuspation. Now what's about a therapeutic class 3? Well, therapeutic class 3 is actually opposite to, cl uh, to class 1 molar occlusion, a uh, class 1 molar relationship. So uh, it is, uh, it's a mistake if you place the mesobuccal cusp, uh, if you place the molar tube parallel to the occlusal plane. Because as we know, when we have a class 3 molar relationship, um, and this is actually the correct position. You, uh, you place it in a way where you see more of the mesobuccal cusp than the distobuccal cusp. And the reason for that is, if you look at the illustration, uh, as you know, when we end in a therapeutic class 3 molar relationship, uh, the mesobuccal cusp of upper 6 occlude uh, between the embrasure, uh, in the embrasure between lower 6 and 7. And we have to see more of the mesobuccal cusp, i.e. you should place the, the tubes in a way where there is more of the mesobuccal cusp of upper six uh, uh, occlusal to the molar tube. And by this way, you will get a nice intercuspation. And of course, in order to improve and enhance the intercuspation in therapeutic class three, you have to do some selective grinding of the palatal cusp of upper five because it's, uh, the palatal cusp of upper five is very high profile compared to the uh, palatal cusp of upper six and this might in, uh, interfere with the occlusion with the central fossa of lower six and prevent a good intercuspation so in addition to positioning the tubes in in that way in therapeutic class three you have to do some selective grinding of the palatal cusp of upper five to make it round and low profile as the palatal cusp of upper six this is my tips regarding the therapeutic um, uh, molar tube positioning in class one, therapeutic class two, and therapeutic class three. I hope that uh, you learned something new, and thank you so much for your listening. Have a good day.